Alright, hello everybody. Today we are gonna do something a little bit different. So, in yesterday's patch for Fortnite, uh, some of the settlements were wiped, particularly this one, the Stonewood one, and another one that I don't know its name. Anyway, so everybody lost their forts, which in my case actually benefits me, but in case you're wondering where all your materials went, you just go to your shield and then go and press right bumper. I mean, right trigger. No, right bumper, yes. And you can see I have 990 bricks and 190 uh, metal. So we're going to withdraw all of that. If I'm allowed. Okay. Max withdraw. Okay. Then we go here. No. And the max withdraw. Okay, there we go. Uh oh, oh, I see. Oops. Oh well. Okay, so first things first. Uh, we learned that they will come down from the south. So, what are we gonna do with that? Well, uh, the best thing I've thought about when thinking about solutions to the south problem here is this. Watch out. Oh god. So, first of all, you're gonna lay down floors because you need a base where to start your thing so preferably brick oh god what am i doing there we go so we're gonna lay down some brick here why well simple let me show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it like this area this whole area that the bricks are covering actually didn't need those two but okay it's fine it's fine nothing no, nothing too serious stone still a little bit that I can't use so with that built then we're gonna put on some walls we don't need one there because the, uh, the natural layout of it will block it but we do need one here and one here and then this ones we're gonna close with metal because we really don't want them here now we need access to the area so we're gonna do this we're taking those two out, and there we go. And then, ah, uh, hello. There we go. Well, that also. Uh, I was gonna do it anyways, but it's not exactly what I want. So we're gonna do this in this way, so we can get in and out easy. We're gonna reinforce these walls because, well, we're not stupid, right? We still need to make sure that the Enemies can go out. The good thing now is that because it got wiped after I know what's wrong, I can fix it. So, these ones. Don't worry about the other ones. Now, this bit is optional, but I think it might be a good idea. You could separate it and have um, electric traps on the sides. But I'm not entirely sure of that. So, I'm not going to do it. But what you will want to have is... It's a wall here. Now, the Okay, metal is fine. This way, what you're gonna put here is those things that shoot this way. So every zombie that's walking down the aisle is gonna get shot at, right? Then you can choose the spike traps or the... These ones, let me show you. So, we're actually gonna lay down the floor. I think that's a better idea to have these ones, the wooden floor spikes. But if you like the retractable floor spikes, Either is fine. I mean, whatever you prefer. Three, four, five, six. We need six, six of these, I think. Uh, what? Oh, I'm not in build mode. Okay. So we're gonna put these ones here. This is gonna slow them down for the other traps. Ooh, it just got right? leaf. And maybe, yeah, maybe we should put uh, a few of the other ones, like. This two should be the the other ones, the retractable ones, just to make sure that you know. Wait, I do have one. What? what, what? Lori, yes, please. Yeah, this. One. There we go. So maybe we do do because that this is like the last resort. They should be hurt by the time they get there, ideally. So why is this? This is because they keep dropping from there. It's annoying and. 
you just don't want them in here because it's the closest part to the uh, you know the boss fight to the to your actual room. Arguably, you could put a a, a second a first set of walls. Actually, I am gonna do. I'm gonna put a wall there and I, uh, maybe yeah I think this is a good idea. So this we want this we don't want this. That's it. Yeah, maybe those ones are shoulder high. Okay, so this way they will run into the top for a bit. Now, let's make the traps. We need two of these. There we go. Now we go into trap mode. Should be ready by now. Oh, there. That's one. That's one. So that's going to stop, like, ideally stop everything from getting to you. Then you're going to put... Uh, where are they? Hold on. Let me find them. These things. I don't have a better option for them, so we're going to put two of them there. And two of them on the other side, so we need four. So now we can go into trap mode and... That's the one I want, yes. I'm gonna put them here, like that. So, what it's gonna do is, this is a concentrated area of fire. You could put a ceiling if you want. Uh, it's not the worst idea. Let me see. What else do we have in trap? Uh, so, these ones are ceiling traps. No, these ones. These ones are gonna, let me show you. These ones, Where's the description? It can be placed on a photo wall to put uh, piece with no obstructions, whatever. And these ones, this electrical damage when trap is triggered. So, this is a fence, this is a wall, right? That's the difference. So, first of all, we're gonna make two of these because we need them anyways. And then we'll make six, seven, eight. Let's see if we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, okay. So why? Well, because we basically want to stop the enemy from getting anywhere near it. And ideally, you can just forget about it. So if you can do that, that's actually very good for you. Huh? Oh, I can't put it because there's the doors. Well, okay. So when you run into things like that, the easiest way to fix it is with a ceiling. So we're gonna build, build the ceiling. The ceiling doesn't have, again, doesn't have to be as durable as everything else. It could be wood. Let's try wood and we'll figure it out from there. Any, every, anything that falls down there is not gonna be able to like charge their powers. Make sure that they're you know, the, the best version of wood that you have. Um, and then for these ones, we're so we have some, so we're gonna put one of these, one of these, because this makes up for the lack of side, uh, side ones. Ideally, nothing comes in. Now, let's say, well, he logged himself in, but we have our doors, see? Simple. So that's this part of done, dealt with. Uh, let me get some more stuff. And let's collect these, because I can use that. Okay. So that, take care, that takes care of the south. Now, they also come down from there. So, we need to be careful. And of course, it keeps growing and growing and growing and it gets more complicated. But the point is, you have a chance to like see where they're coming from. So I, I'm starting to think it's worth losing. If it didn't cost so, much, so many resources, I would think that losing would be the best idea. But then you don't know where all the waves are. So maybe, maybe what works is go into other people, help other people, and then do your missions. Which is good because it gets you XP and all that, so it's not a loss at all. Let's take this canoe. Okay. So, how are we gonna stop him from there? Well, basically, first of all, you need your walls as always. Let's build a regular wall. This ones can be metal. I like making. The inner walls metal. That's for sure. So, why? Well, because it's the most durable material I have right now. No, 
no argument there, so I'm gonna do this. And now I am out of metal. Which is annoying, but that camper may have enough metal for me. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do the patchwork mode for now, and then I'll come back and change it to, to metal. But I think we have enough resources here for that. At least for a first layer, and then we'll see. Let's search this. Thank you, some ammo. That's nice. Okay, there's nothing in it, so let's just break it down. Right on! No, that's not enough. Okay, the tub may have... No, it's bricks. It's a brick house. So they also come down from here. Now, your options here are twofold. Either you start your traps here in some way or manner that you think will stop them before they get to the water, or you stop them here. Either option works, I think. It's just a matter of preference and how you play. But if I was you, I would try it. Like everything is as locked in as possible. So, oh my god, we're close. We were close. Let's see, is there any more metal around here that we can use? Because this is effectively a valley, so we're locked in here, and we have the disadvantage of the lower ground. Yeah, they have the higher ground, Anakin. And in this case, it actually matters. Oh, that thing is gonna help us. Okay, let's get my stamina up a little bit, because this guy can't double jump if he doesn't have the stamina. As you can see, we have our rocks back. Point. Okay, so we have enough to at least lay out the land as we want it. And then later on, I'll be able to, you know, actually build it like I want it. But for now, this should be enough. Can I see outside? Oh, this is where the uh, things are going to be. Oh, okay. The amplifiers are going to be up high. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. We're smack dab in the middle of this zombie apocalypse thing. Okay. So we have some idea where zombies are going to be coming from. Yeah, I think your best bet to make sure you're building as you should is to actually watch what other people are building. Go into their missions, help them, and make mental notes of where everything is. Because look at this. Me. I mean, there's Need good choke, choke points, uh, that's for sure. But there is not many of his metal, but that's a whole other issue with the game. It's just a way of making you farm, but okay. So, what I can give you an advice on is on the basic layout right now. Like, what is huh. Hold up. basically this area. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this here. Obviously, you will go and farm before you go into mission, like I told you before. Get, get that dealt with. But at least we have a basic structure. Now, we also need a way to get up to the base. And usually the wisest way to do it on the inside. But if we do that, we're going to run into trouble. So, instead, I'm going to have to think of a creative solution and my creative solution is this if I can afford it yes I can afford it okay we're gonna do this we're gonna build and probably should build another one on the other side but uh this is fine for now I guess uh, let's build the door here so now we can go in here and we can go in here now well wrap sure but then how am I gonna get up doesn't make sense. Well, it does. Just wait a second. So we're going to put this, and then we're going to build a ladder, but we're going to fix the ladder so that it is this way. Or, I mean, this is blocked here. No, it's blocking the door. Okay, no, it's not blocking anything, I think. But it's going to be a problem. So, no, we're going to edit again. And we're going to start with this one, and then we're going to go around like this. And see if that works. That works slightly better. Can we rotate it to make it fit here? 
Okay, I can get up there, right? Because I forgot I put that there, so... If you can do it from a higher ground, it's easier to plan your things. So, my ladder... My door is there. Uh, what other options do we have? That's a terrible option. That's a terrible option. That's an option. I think this is the best option. Oh, right, right. Let's switch to... This could be brick, I think, is the best idea. Uh -uh. Now we're going to take all that, we're going to fix these. Well, we're going to make them stronger, that's what I mean. So now, you come in. You can go straight here if you need to. So that's not a problem. And then you just jump here, and you're already upstairs. So that that's actually a pretty good one. Now, at this point of the game, you're already having lovers, so wood is not always the best of ideas. It works here because it's just the first floor. But if you're gonna do the rest. Also, make sure that it's brick. And this one, you can just take this one out. Trigger. Why isn't it? Come on, man. Okay, there we go. So this way you have a cover in case something flies why is there a stair here when did I build stairs Boy. okay I screwed up <laughs> okay let me take care of this thing uh, huh? I just don't want to take down the the actual wall so we have to be careful because I think I did. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought that was true. Okay. So. Stairs again. Wait, what? Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know why they changed shape and became full. But whatever. Oh, the game thought I was editing the. Why didn't I just fix that? Okay, well, never mind. So. This time we're fixed. That just makes sure that you can go in and whatever. And you're up here. So now that we fix that little snafu, we can go and lay out land here. Now. Ah! Okay, well. That's taken care of. Now here we need to open a door anyways. Let's see. Uh, this one should be okay. Yeah. So now we can go in and move freely across the place. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we have this. And I highly recommend you upgrade this as much as you can. Because you don't want to end in a... Okay, that's good enough. Keeping it as reinforced as possible so now you can stay up here and just take care of things from down there you can put survivor pads here like for defenders well not in this one but in this one but first we're gonna take care of the ceiling now the ceiling is a funny one because like most people would just build a square on top of it some people like the pyramid I like the pyramid just because it looks cool so that's what I'm gonna do also, because since they go up, it, it's kind of hard for them to hit things. So sometimes you end up lucky, lu getting lucky and surviving. So, how do you do the that? Well, you use this thing. Now, you say, like, wait, wait, Rap, look at that. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. Yes, it doesn't fit as is. But if you do this, you take two and like that. Look at what I, I made. That's an angle, right? Let's turn around another. Now, it's a slope. Can you see that? All I have to do is put them in the right angle, which would be here. So that's one. That's another one. That's an odd one. And there's a tree here. Okay. Let's take down the tree. And let's make it go away. There we go. So now, make sure you didn't lose your shapes in between. Now we're going to do something else. Well, there's two options here. Either you put a stair, a staircase, or you 
you can do this. You go again into modify, and then you take down two. Oh god, come on! There you go. And look. Now make sure you don't lock yourself in, because I've done that and it's kind of stupid. Because this one doesn't allow you to uh, place uh, a door in it. So what you're doing here is you're sealing this area. Pretty much. Now, you could arguably leave this open, but it's kind of like asking for trouble. You could store their healing pads or whatever you want. I mean, maybe. I don't know. That, that's your choice. Now, when you're done with that, you go into the shape again. Wait. You reset it. And you have a nice little cap. That's one of the, the few ones the game doesn't teach you about, so... Yeah, keep that in mind. Now here, what you want is to put floors. So you can hang plant, uh, plants, tramps, or survivors, or whatever the hell you want. We're gonna lay down something here. So this gives you like the ability of being on top and below. You could add a catwalk, but then you have a problem. I'm gonna show you what happens. We're gonna do it with wood. Well, no, we can do it with this, and you can see the difference. And then I can just reshape the piece. So if I take down these two, I can make it like this. But the problem is I can't hang traps from it. Okay? So you have two choices. You make the balconies after the traps, or you don't build balconies. Uh, the balcony has its advantages, its disadvantages, because it holds things in like they they won't fall down but at the same time could be difficult now this one look at this if you do this you get an edge like kind of like the other one there so you can do that if you want, or you know so this ah I fell down. you can even make kitty corners here with this like but we need there we go we need the full thing so our, our roof is set now, or at least it looks like it is. Mm. In this case, in this particular case, I don't know where I would put the door. <laughs> like, we already have a door on the other side, and I think that's good enough. But, seeing how this is laid out... Let me see something. So I get out here, and I get in here. Okay, so... If I had metal, I would do it with metal, but we're gonna do it with rock. So now what we're gonna do is a little brick house here. And this little brick house is gonna be a quarantine area, if you wanna call it that. This little quarantine area, what's gonna do is we're gonna let us it's gonna let us get into the base. Oh, I made a mistake. It was under here, not... It was here. It was supposed to be here. Well, that was stupid of me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with extra rooms like this, because eventually, when the zombies get in, like, they will have to get, like, lost in here. So, it's not a total loss. Um... It might actually even make it easier for me to get up in here, but um, we'll see. So now we can modify this one. Yes. And now we can get into the base. So we have two side entrances. One here, one here. I don't know how I built this. It's, it's... Oh, I know what's wrong. I was right the first time, except that this thing is not symmetrical because of the whole mess. Okay, so we need a door here, too. So we can go in. Okay, so yeah, that's what happened. Uh, this thing is not symmetrical, so this should be the room with the things, but it can be. I mean, it can. But it can't go into the base. So, yeah, okay. What are we gonna do, then? We're gonna build the stair case again. But this time it's gonna be a simple one. So, go with this one. Or it could be this. Yeah, let's keep it like this. I like these ones because they're not like as obstructive as others. 
But you know, this is optional. You can do, you can build this whenever you want. The point is, you want to be able to enter your base and exit and get up on top. So this gives you a good, nice way of doing that. Mm. You want to seal this one? You can seal it, or not. It's up to you. So yeah, look, this should be three wide in order for that to work. I don't know if they will come down from there. I need to check that, but I know they will come down from here. So we're gonna close off this area. And if need be, we can just make it into another death trap room. So we're gonna make sure that it's quarantined like this. So in this way, they can't just like go like, surprise, we decided to visit. They seem to be like single-minded in their approach to taking bases down, so it's not a bad deal. And now, we just go into the last part. The last part is just like the basic layout. I'm not gonna put all the traps and stuff because uh, I don't wanna take like that long and it's pretty much obvious what you're supposed to do. The thing is, when you do this layout, you can just layer upon it over and over and over again. Just keep making stairs every like three, like three tiles. Like this is one tile, two tiles would be around here, and three tiles would be here. Once you get here, you may want um, a stair or use this ramp to make it sure that you can get up. Actually, this needs to be hollow, and it will need to be a, tra uh, a zombie trap because they may want to, you know, experiment and go and walk across, and we don't want that. You also have to keep that in mind, that you don't want them to walk across your base like through something that you put in there just for convenience. So I was about to make a mistake. If I had layered this, they would have gone directly to the, to the thing. And that would have been bad. Very bad. These ones can stay like this. It's gonna get out jumping. The, the other thing is, if you're a ninja, you have a way easier way uh, time getting out of your base. But okay. So now that you have that, you just build your basic... Wait, what happens if you build like this? I've never seen that. Huh! I never thought you could do that. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna take these. We, we just want the chest high ones. Now, just go around your town. Brick is enough for the first few waves, then you might make it, like, either reinforce brick, like level 2 or 3, or you can turn it into metal. Metal, obviously, is gonna let you be more resilient and be able to take more hits so that's up to you but uh i also recommend this i'm gonna show you in a sec oh damn it i'm out of stone oh you i'm gonna get some stone just to show you what i mean and then i think it'll end it here just basically give you a quick rundown of how things are supposed to go so you can put this here and then, <clears throat> your choices vary, but what I would do is this. Oh, I need ten. Um, I have one. Okay, this should be enough. But I think you have an idea of what I mean. These things kind of make them decide to go to the sides. So you can use them as a way of holding back. Uh, you can also build a tower on top of this, because this thing is gonna block them from getting in. Into the tower. Oh, well, you'll have time to, like, uh, react. So, maybe make the core of a stronger material, and just layer it like a sandwich. You can stretch these all the way up here, and then a little bit higher, and you could have sniper posts. That also works. But basically, this is the general layout. You're, you're just gonna put one of these in each corner that you can. Like here. And then, this you're gonna tile with like regular like tile floor, or metal floor once it gets too difficult. All around the base. And then you're gonna add a few traps. Uh, the choice of traps depends to you and your play style and what you have. Because I can tell you, oh you can j you just put the um, retractable floor spikes, but you don't have them. Or you have them at level 5 and you have another kind of floor trap that's uh, level 25. What do I know? So. These ones depend on that. Put some on here, right? Put some on the wall here, right? 
put some on the roofs and then put some on the sides okay also you might want to think about leaving this space this space and this space clear so that engineers can drop their base thing you know and make sure that they like can defend it it's it's an it's an idea it's something i like to do Master, maybe you can even leave this one because this three this three no actually this one this is the one you should not touch actually we're gonna mark it down we're just gonna do it with wood because it doesn't really have to be like this area is sacred you do not build here okay this is for the engineers to put their bases. This one. And this one. These two need to be this. And if you're feeling like cheeky, you can build that there. It's fine. Just a way of like making them hit something else besides you and you can just go bah, 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 bah. Right? So you can also do that if you want. You can like lay uh like some barriers on the side. It'll keep them from hitting things, or you even. But right now, I'm just using it to show you where things go. So this should give you uh, 360 control of the area. You can shoot at things from below. Like, the only thing you can't shoot is people are down here, but then if you have a ninja, they can just go down and clear. But everybody else can stay up, up there, the defenders, whatever. Also, that's another option. You can make these po these corners defender pads. If you don't know what a defender pad is, uh, let me show you. What I mean are these ones. The defender posts, not pads. You put these... It's, it's a good idea to have several of them, actually. They don't work if you have people, but you don't have people. It's a good idea to have them. But yeah, you can put one here. The corners, they don't tend to go for the corners, they spread and go here or here. So these places are always like very like free to be used for whatever you want. So with that said, this is the beginnings of a fort. And let me show you from further away. So you can see it already, it doesn't look like the most horrible thing ever. Aside from the materials in the game being made to look like haphazard and whatnot. It's already looking like something that you could go... Like, if you load in and you see this, you kind of understand where everything goes and then you, you you can defend. Also, another thing you can do is put a, a second lane of, you know, walls. Even put them, like, in choke points and stuff. You can direct the zombies with the things. If you leave them a hole... Like, if I put one... I'm not going to do it, but if I put one here, one here, and one here... They are mostly gonna go straight to here, so you can have your best, more most expensive trap here, just waiting to greet them, and have the best fence thing you have here, and things like that, and that's gonna stop them. So, use your walls creatively to stop the enemy from getting to you, right? Another thing you might want to think about is fencing your stairs. That's also the reason I put the thing on the stairs, because... This way, the zombie cannot get up. They, they'll just be bouncing on it. Well, hitting it. But I can come in and shoot them. But I can I can go up. See? Zombies can't. It's a good uh, it's a good idea to not have your stairs being like open invitations. Like, oh, come on in. Just walk right through my stairs. Right? So here, it can't go anywhere. If I wanted, I could put a door here too. And it might be a good idea if you want it. And then you have this place where you can just go and you know, shoot at things that are coming. So if it's the south, you're pretty much set up. As long as you have someone watching the outside, you're set. It's actually pretty good. Anyways, guys. So, um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. This was Sam Battery Games. And I'm going to repeat myself. Oh, well. So... Anyways, this was Habana Minions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.